Hello and welcome to the LDM Show. Happy 4th of July. This is part 2 hey. of Emma Garcia what's in up, the what's house. Up, what's up? Y'all already know your girl Emma Garcia. We are here live. Yes, yes, yes. Happy 4th of July, people. Yeah, last week, uh, you know, we were talking about a lot of Spanish stuff and we got we got stopped. We got caught up, we got we, caught we got up, caught up with Love Corner. Yes. So we just gonna continue a whole hour of Love Corner. Yes. You know, to I have it, it up. But uh, in case you didn't see last week's show, let them know what you've been doing. Well, <laughs> school, of course, almost done with that. Um, acting, I got cast for a new show called Mr. My Nice Dream by William Shakespeare, and I'll be playing Bottom the Weaver. Mm. So that's a mix of, you know, uh, becoming a jackass, the top and the bottom, and a fairy world. And in the human world, I'm the weaver putting on a play for the king and the queen at their wedding. Yeah, you guys got to go to that play. I like the way they, <laughs> they, they set up the at, stage. That would definitely be at Lehman College in yeah. November, I think, 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th. At 3, 7.30, at 7, and 7, 7, 7, yeah. So, be there early if that. you don't buy your tickets. Exactly, because the tickets sell out. Yeah, especially like sold out quickly. Yeah, especially you're not an LDM, so exactly. I got I got privilege. <laughs> That's true. You did no, privilege. I, I went there and I'm like, <laughs> the lady was like looking at me. She was like, I know you. I seen you somewhere, and I'm like, yeah, I was just on that line. And I guess the smart addict thing that I said, she was like, LDM. I, I, that that <laughs> voice and that thing. She was like, oh my god, you're here to record. I was like, no, I'm just here to. Support Emma. I'm going to go on the line as that normal. That was amazing. That was amazing. They didn't even let me get on the line like a normal person. I was like, okay, they had my spot. I was like, oh, wow. You know wow. what's so crazy that when, like, <laughs> when last week I was telling you, I was telling you how when I was performing and I seen you there, I was like, whoa. But it was like a different whoa. It was like, oh, this is so beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. I felt like a warm feeling in my heart. Like, just having you sitting there literally in the front, in the corner, where mm. most of my drama, crazy and yelling, yelling. plays. Um, <laughs> I was like, oop, I hope I don't spit on him here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was, but a good, it was, it was an amazing play. experience of, of having a full house, four sold out shows. Yeah. Um, the costumes, the, oh my having God. Having the lead role was amazing. Um, my first time having a lead role. It showed me discipline. It showed me great work ethic for as an actor. It gave me, um, I had a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges. To portray, you know, Galileo Galilei, which is, you know, astronomer, that he didn't invent the telescope. He actually stole the idea from Holland, well, right. but he created it in the towards as a telescope towards the sky. And just um, bringing out that energy on stage was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, projecting and filling up the entire room with this voice that I have, that God blessed me with, was uh, a moment that I will never forget. Yeah, it, it was Especially good. the last, like, the last show was so overwhelming for me. I cried my behind off walking up them stairs. Literally, I looked back and I was bawling out. I went from the age of 30 to 72 <laughs> in an hour 45 minutes. minutes. So that was fun. I had a great time doing that. Yeah, and then some of the girls were playing guy yeah, parts. All the girls know. were guys. And, and all, the, was so um, all the scientists were played by females. Yeah. And all like the, um, the, the pastor, the philosopher, um, all those people were played by the, the leading... Like, the roles of asses were played by men. And yeah. the scientists were played like women, like hidden figures. Yeah, it was, it was a good show. So, you know, great. you guys got to watch it. But stay tuned to my next show, my next production, coming out in November. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, last week we left. We yes, were we talking did. about know your, uh, your boundaries, your levels when you're speaking to a girl and yes. dress correctly. Exactly. Um, so I, I, I had a thought to say last week, but, you know... I didn't know that the show got changed into so, hour to one hour, yeah. Because you know we usually run in our mouths. Yeah, I, you know when I when, <laughs> when I seen when I seen the engineer throw up the one finger, I thought she was like she had an idea. She was like, I "Aha!" Thought, no, I, I thought it was an idea. Out, I was like, "Okay, we got a commercial break." Break, yeah. Time for water. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, that didn't happen. <laughs> this means wrap it up. We know, but she went like this one minute, so we were like, "Okay." That show was amazing last week. Yeah, that yeah, it was. Such a great time. Yeah. So, um, but it is 4th of July, be careful. Yes, um, fireworks, fireworks over, you know. Noise. And sometimes, don't, please, ladies and gentlemen, do not let your kids play with fireworks. It is dangerous, especially towards the face. Oh, yeah. Faces are being blown off as we speak. Because, yeah. you know, this is 4th of July, everybody's outside, firecrackers, mm. gunshots, all that yep. crazy stuff. So, please yeah. be careful. Be careful. Make sure all the barbecues going on. Shout yeah. out to all those people who are grilling. Yeah, be careful with you know with all those kids you know 
Um, Drink safely, drive safely. Yeah. Have fun, enjoy. And then be careful with your son and daughters too. Yeah. Because <laughs> the kids are their husbands. <laughs> <laughs> They the ones you need to be careful with. Exactly. They, they, they be drunk. Blah, 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 blah. I got it. Don't worry about it, mijo. Listen, I can grill and pop for the fire. Boop, boop. Uh, wait, which one with the fire? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you got to be. Sounds like my character for the new show. That hey, I'm hey, hey. They, they, uh, <laughs> they weird. But uh, uh, speaking of um, shows and everything, you got to watch out. We're going to be doing a couple of clips. So shout out to Alex Polanco. Um, maybe Emma RV joining us because we have female stuff so we're gonna be doing like five minute clips but it's gonna be funny uh we actually doing one of new york homeless people but it's comedy so, so you're playing the homeless person oh i'm playing the homeless guy um okay. I'm, I'm gonna show you one little thing that it says alex comes up to um um passing by and i ask alex for money and he says nah i don't got change and as a new york homeless person i come out and i pull out how much you need five dollar change i got change don't worry about that <laughs> I got you. I got you. So, so you can imagine the humor that, that we're bringing crazy. in. Yes, that that sounds, we're bringing in because super funny. all the ideas that we we are, are portraying are things that I seen in the streets. So I just want to bring a comedy twist to it. So you're gonna have to portray and, and that and that. New yes. York City has so much yeah. comedy on the streets that is incredible. And that clip I took because I was passing by the bakery towards the studio, and this homeless lady had a. Bundle like this, going like this, counting. So it gave me the idea of, that sounds good. you know. So there's things like that, um, the worst one-liners and other stuff that we're going to be doing. Let me hear a, a, a worst one-liner. Oh, I got what, one what was one of the worst one-liners? Um, oh, uh, well, we, of course we're going to throw, are you tired? Why? Because you're, you're you know, been you've been running all over my mind. You know, those stupid lines wah, like that. Wah, wah, yeah. Wah. What but, about uh, this one? Damn, baby, you must be an angel because you done just dropped out of heaven. That's smooth. like the 60s and 70s. We're like, that's, that's smooth, though. Be like, yo, you should have told me when you were going to fall so I could have caught that's you. True. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nah, yeah. You see, but, those are nice. Yeah, yeah. Mops. Hey, Ma, what's up? Or, or, uh, or the, the, one, the, the, one, uh, the one I'm going to throw on to is be like, Diablo, tu con todo ese carne, yo si cupone. <laughs> That's in other good. words, you would all that meat and me without the food stamps. You know what I'm oh, saying? That's good. I never heard of that. Yeah, I, I used to joke around with, with one liners like that. But you know, one line, one line that I use because I don't really use liners. It's just I met the person and that's it. All right. Mm -hmm. But one, no, seriously. I but hear the one that you we were sitting in. Yeah, no, we were sitting on a, on a, a porch on one of my friends' porch. Shout out to Kevin Dotson. This was in PA? Yeah, this was in PA. And some girl passed by and then passed by again. So my boy was like, I think she's trying to holler at somebody. So I was like, and that's when we were talking about one-liners that day. So I said, all right, I'm going to try one, one thing real quick. He was like, what? I said, I don't know. Let me see if it works because I'm not really good with one-liners. <laughs> and she passed it by again. But I only said that because I didn't think she won't pass by again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know how the boy yeah, be like, yeah, 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 uh -huh. she holler, I'm going to holler at her. Yeah. Yada. All of a sudden, she came by, and my friend was like, oh, here she go, here she go. So I said, oh, shit, damn, damn, I got busted. So I got to look good. So I grabbed the camera, and I said, excuse me, um, can I have a second? She was like, what? I said, can I take your picture? Because I know it'll last longer. <laughs> <laughs> my boys were like, oh! And I came stupid in the background, and it got me a date. I didn't realize it. She was like, oh, that was cute. I never heard that one before. You know, yeah, um, what about my number two? And I was like. Okay, I didn't really want the number, but, you know. Okay. I only went on one date because Where I was... Where was date at? Where did you go? Actually, we went to, uh, around the corner, there was a restaurant, uh, a Chinese restaurant, because I was cheap back then, too. I, he's I, cheap now, too. No, no, I was on a budget, though. I was on a budget. Ladies and gentlemen, his, he's cheap now, too. See, see, he see, says it himself. See, what happened was the government was holding me down and didn't give me money to go to college, so I had to go to school. Um... <laughs> No, I was on a budget, and um. He balls on a budget. Yeah, we went on on one date, but you're not cheap though. You wanna why? You're not cheap because you um, all your money you put into your hard work is which is. Your oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my so family, we go we cheap. go places, but we we get what we need and not what we want. In other words, yeah. Sometimes you gotta splurge, like my my wife said, you gotta splurge sometimes on what you want. She loves Tarjay. Yeah, on what you want. Like she wants to go, you know, out places, because she's one of those types that. We can work and work, work, work hard, but sometimes you do have to... You have to play. have to play. 
So you have to play, play, play. And, and she right. and she's pushing me on that, and I, I try to because I'm a work, 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 work person. Like, well, I gotta you know do this. what? Maybe if y'all was, if y'all tuned the last week's episode, we were talking about how in relationships sometimes things change, calls, calling mm-hmm. on the break, lunch break, and you know, you know, consecutive yeah. things and stuff like that. You missed it. You missed yeah. it. That was your loss. But after the <laughs> show, you can go back on on on, exactly. on uh, L, the LDMshow.com, and they have all the episodes there. All the episodes, and you so. know what? Maybe we were, since we was reflecting on that, I'm gonna piggyback on that. Maybe things change because things haven't changed. Well, yeah, and no, you know no, what I'm saying. Well, things change because funded, we got we got more busy, at, at, more responsibility, right. more so busy. It's, it's but harder. sometimes us females, shout out to Rhea. Um, us females, we like to go out to fancy dinners. Mm-hmm. We like to be pampered and spoil you because we work, work, work. We want to be pampered and feel like a Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not being cheap and buying chinos and bringing it to the house. Listen, we, I, no, well, I don't. I don't buy. You at home. I don't buy. I don't buy chinos. <laughs> I don't buy chinos and bring them home because that's bringing them across the border. <laughs> that's bringing them across the border. <laughs> I buy Chinese food. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I mean. But, yeah, maybe no, that. And, and plus, when I make cookies, they <coughs> homemade cookies, okay? Oh, they're good. They're homemade cookies. I had them. Yeah. I, I, I call them homemade cookies because I made them at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be telling you, oh, what, what was the last time? Oh, I made uh, white rice um, dripped with uh, sauce. Pampered with a layer of skin of chicken, and in other words, I make kind of with white rice. <laughs> but I texted that she started laughing, and it's funny because she was like, "It sounds good." Um, white rice with kind of <laughs> But it sounds good, right? But I made it sound good, you know. And then I, I put the little layer, you know, little yeah. hard thing with a little flour, make it look nice, you know what I'm saying? I made a little design of the chocolate. I don't believe you. Yeah, right. At the presentation, she was like, "Really? You had a nice presentation? Yeah, you had to have it. get you a cheap husband. <laughs> <laughs> so, Presentations is what counts. But what we call it is hashtag for the hell of it. Um, for the hell of it. We don't. We don't. I'm. I'm. I portrayed. I told her like she was came to me and always Valentine's all this and then she, like I guess she realized. You don't need Valentine's to say. You don't need yeah. Mother's Day to say Happy Mother's Day. You don't yeah, need yeah. Happy Fa- Father's Day. She was like, "What you doing?" The same thing I was doing yesterday. Uh, you tell me all the time. Oh, thank you for being a father. I don't need Father's yeah, Day to tell yeah. me that. Um, so you're pretty much saying that hashtag Valentine's, for the hell of it. Valentine's Day is canceled at the um, La Loma's family's house. Basically. So y'all don't have Valentine's. Not really. But it's like more like I feel like Valentine's Day is just more to get. Anything that's commercial, uh, anything commercial. that's commercial, government commercialized, yeah. the La Loma family don't don't portray it. Okay, that's we, interesting. Because we have hashtag for the hell of it. And that's why she don't call her lunch break no more. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, right, right. it's all your show. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's true. You know, sometimes just do it for the heck of it. And yeah. that's why it's called hashtag for the hell like of that. it. I like that. I like that hashtag you know, for the heck of it. And you just do it. Sometimes I like you know I portray and we take picture. I be like I made homemade cookies. She was like, oh, you got the um the dough from the yeah. I made it at home. It's called homemade cookie. You know, so we you know we make fun and we cook those things. Yeah. It's not just now. Some people, if you would have done it, they were like, why you did that? What you did? Let me check your phone. Who you talking to? Like you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why some guys don't do the hashtag for the heck of it because some of the females want to complain because they're doing it. Because Come you know on. What? A lot of guys, ladies, let me let me tell you something. Now they bring in flowers. Wait, okay. Wait, wait, let me like tell what you. did you wait, do? No. Eh. Let, let, let me let me be the advocate. Let me tell you something. I, Sometimes. I oh, take a break. Oh, I'm sorry. She said, "Hold that thought. We gotta take a commercial Ladies break. We'll be right this back." This is LDM show. We'll be back. Right- as mighty armies clash in a struggle for total domination, the scales can be tipped by one man who has the courage to confront his fate and make a choice that will decide the fate of the world. <laughs> guys put a lot of smoke in today. Wow. But anyway, we expecting a real superhero? I don't think so. 
The real life superheroes are the ones that are helping out in their community today. And the LVM show will be there to bring you the events and stories to life. Do you know a real superhero? Let us know. But for now, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook. Also visit our websites for photos, videos, and updates. But until the meantime, hey, I gotta be out of here. videos, sports, live events, and much, much more. Go to www.ldmnetwork.net for more information and all the shows that are going to be on this network. Again, that's www.ldmnetwork.net. And hey, if you are an independent artist or you love to hear independent music, go to our new radio station called LDM Radio. Go to www.ldmradio.com for more information on where to listen or submit your music. And welcome back to the LDM show. This is your girl Emma Garcia. Yes, yes, we're having a lot of fun. You know, we got cut off with the commercial break. Got paid <laughs> sometimes. Got to pay the bills. You know That's what I'm saying? Right. But uh, you were in the, in the middle of the conversation uh, about uh, how the girls you were going about to lie for the girls. I was not. Good. You know what? You're about to lie for the girls. Remember that you said. I wasn't let me, let me say I was a like, fib. I wanted to clarify. See a lie. About <laughs> <laughs> about the fact that what we were talking about. We were talking about um, you know, I, guys just doing something and then the girls will oh, complain okay. about it. So look, the thing is that nowadays, you can't talk about back in the days because back in the days was so much better than right. how relationships are now. Because now all men want to do is invite, you know, beep, then beep, right. and cut off and then you haven't talked no more. Some relationships like that, some situationships is like that. Situationships, right. remember that one. Mm -hmm. um, men usually when they're in a relationship and they mess up, not all men, some men, because I can't just, I can't subject every man because right. nobody's the same. And no woman is the same. Because I feel like women could possibly do the same thing. But men want to start sugarcoating their woman when they've done something wrong. For example, they go to the club, they bag a girl, they come home late, they got lipstick on their shirt, they, or they got glitter on, mm -hmm. they, they wash their stuff in the morning, they wake up, you know, the girl let them go out. You know what I'm saying? They wake up or they don't come home. They say, I sit over my mother's house. You're lying. You sleep here every day. Why are you coming home at 7 o'clock in the morning when you know you well, do that? First of all. They, try to sugar home. they come in the morning, bought you yeah. breakfast. Yeah, baby, that's true. I give you $200 to get your hair and nails done. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They do those things. So women, we fall in them traps. So now, uh, and then they, they project that on TV. They show that on shows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So us women, we like, you know what? What did he do? That he's pampering me. Or, or some women are not used to that because... They didn't never receive that kind of attention from a man before. And the ones that they did receive that from, their man was playing them. Right, right, You know right, what I'm right. saying? So you can never... It's, it's which, is, which, is, which is true, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to help gentleman. you out because when he, came, when he came out with the lipstick on the, on the collar, it's because the train was so packed. You know what I'm saying? So it, it happens. Yeah. The, the glitter, he was helping kids out. Oh, not, on okay, art you went and to work with the black eye, I just, my fist just fell into yeah. your face. See, the glitter was the art and craft. <laughs> he seen a kid walking and he said, Oh, let me help you with your arts and craft. And then, you know, Rhea, the, if you're the listening, you're watching, uh, take he notes. Slept, he, you slept, get it? he slept in his mom's house because, you know, his mom was a little sick. You know, he had to take care. You know, mom was born. No, but seriously, I went one time and I was buying a plant. Just for the heck of it. Sometimes I do that. Happy 4th of July, people. Yes. I went and brought a plant. You know, the Mexican looked at me like, that's what you're going to get her? I was like, yeah, because I'm not in trouble. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he started laughing. Yes, he started, I'm decorating my house. Yeah. No, I, I don't like all these plants, but she does. 
and I seen one of the plants that she was complaining that she don't see. So I said, oh, let me go get it because now I see it. You know what I'm saying? So I got it for the heck of it and just gave it to her. You're thoughtful. Yeah. Well, yeah. the thoughtfulness is not... You know what? I think being thoughtful takes a man or a woman a long way. Because right. if you're if you're showing that the you're littlest talking, things too. Oh, I love a man that's showing the littlest things. The littlest things. You know things. what I'm saying? Take notes, ladies and gentlemen. Like like yesterday, for for instance, I came with a two liter Pepsi and I opened the refrigerator. There was already one there, and there wasn't there. So I was like, "Oh, you brought a two liter Pepsi." The niceness in me was like, "Wow, that was thoughtful." The other side of me said, "Damn, I could have saved two dollars." <laughs> <laughs> At two dollars, um, as you, you could have saved it, yeah, yeah. And now you have two sodas, yeah. so you have to worry about when the other one is done. So it was you good, know? but you know, yeah, doing little things like that. So, females, before you jump into the um, what the hell he did, appreciate what he just did for like five, ten minutes. That was nice, though, that you made, you know, you did that, yeah. You, you, you do certain things like it's that, the little things, the little um, things make a relationship more sturdy, yeah. count. Because if you could do the little things, that means you could do the big things. Because I feel like the little things are, like, the most, like, to do. Because if you're going to take a girl on a date, right, to the movies, that's to say that's the big thing. It's done. But now, if you organize a girl's shoes in a certain form, or... Now, uh, mm, mm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, mm, like you're saying. Like, guys, don't listen. Don't touch the girl's shoes or closet. Okay? No, I'm no, no, don't listen to her. No. It's an don't example. Touch th that's a bad example to give my okay. guys. Okay, <laughs> men, don't touch our shoes. Thank you. Hair, okay. shoes, and clothes you don't touch. What about <laughs> you decided... You see, now she's trying to figure out something else. <laughs> no, look, I'm telling you. The littlest thing for me is, like, you're, you're calling me downstairs to come see me for five minutes after you came out of work. You know what I'm saying? You're tired, and you're coming to see me for five minutes. You're driving to see me for five minutes to go home after that. True. That little gesture shows me True. that you care, that you're not that tired to come spend time with me. Be like, yeah, I was just... Uh, you wanted to get something, uh, and then you see Yeah. I, and then he brings it? Yeah, I, 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 I was just passing by, and I thought I'd say hello, even though he lives 20 minutes the other way. I might you cook know. you dinner. But then you got the crazy one. Oh, that's nice. Why? What did she do that you had to come over here? And then they do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, where, <laughs> exactly. Where he was at. Crazy. Why you bought me these shoes anyway? I didn't like this color. Yeah, you know what? I, <laughs> like, female. Women are unappreciative sometimes. Sometimes. And Even some guys. Just take it and be like, wow, that's nice. Yeah. Even you don't want to wear it. Be like, that's <laughs> nice. And then gradually be like, wow, this looks like you bought it from, from so-and-so store. Yep. No, no, I didn't. I bought it from that store. Oh, okay, that's your way of knowing where you got to change it yep. at. You know what I'm saying? And then you take it back, listen, my But you mind. know what? Even if I, I feel like if a guy got me something that I don't usually wear or don't like, I'm going to still take it as the appreciation, and I will wear it, even if it's, like, ugly. Even ugly if it's a clothes? Like, something that's ugly? Yeah, I still wear it. Now, there's two reasons a guy, I, a guy I like would do that. Because versatile. So if you get me a grandma sweater, guess what? I'm going to have that grandma sweater with some shorts, my hair in a big bun with some bamboo earrings. And fix it up. Fix it up, right? Fix my makeup on fleek, and I'm going to pull out, like, what happened? Fix it up. My man got this. He got okay. Me. What your man got? Right. Nothing. You got the purple bottoms because they not even red. red. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, uh, it seems like, but then you got the crazy ones like, oh, why you brought me this? You trying to say I'm look like a grandmother? Oh, so now you don't even like this no more? Oh, yeah, that's That's true. when the you girl will turn around. Listen, that's when the girl <laughs> turns around and you hear the door close. Because I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? That's craziness. But appreciate it, and then when they leave, you bitch about it, like you normally gonna do anyway. You are gonna go to Call your, your girls. Friend, be like, yeah. You know what Tommy got me? He got me this ugly ass yeah, sweater. sweater. Girl. And you know what? And then you know your girl. Fit me. Why your it's girlfriend not even my size. always? He bought it for the wrong girl. Girl, you should just wear it anyway. I wish my man would get me set. Cause that's the girl on the other <laughs> line. Knowing damn real, you wasn't gonna wear it. Right. I wish my Maybe. Adam got me that sweater. I uh, know, right? He had bought me nothing in like three years. Yes. <laughs> and I be cooking and cleaning for him all the time. Mm -hmm. Damn, girl, you went for three years and he haven't bought you nothing. That's no? when you start feeling appreciated. It's because I love him. Mm -hmm. He don't love you, girl. That's a, that's, that's, a, that's a southern. And you know the southern girls don't even go through that. That's they don't right. even go through that. Yeah. He They're a lady. They're a lady. They're a lady. <laughs> No, but uh, uh, an honest truth, it, when do you don't 
go crazy, like crazy mind? Or is that embedded in some of the females? Because some of the females are more. The guys, they are crazy, but they don't really hardly show it. Whatever, whatever. Just step then. Just step. And when you close that door, they be like, damn. She left. I believe that. And then they walk back in. What? What? You forgot something? Yeah. <laughs> I believe that. I believe that men have this stigma of always being machismo and a yeah. macho man. That they well, can't don't, portray. Don't get it wrong. There's guys that crazy. Not no more. Now what is that next word that we yeah, talk no, about Yeah, no, there's guys that crazy. Um, they, they, bush, they bush people too. They be in the bushes. Who that? Yeah. That's my cousin. See, Latin guys females, Latin females, please stop saying cousins. Because we already know since the 70s. Everybody your cousin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you talking about? My cousin? Oh, that's my cousin from back in the day. So why you don't introduce us? Because, oh, because he's all the way down there. He's only right there, girl. What you talking about? <laughs> no, no, no. But they always say cousins. Um, I don't know. I don't it's know. just, there are guys that are crazy. When they start talking crazy, but the only problem is with the guys, when they're crazy, they're more abusive. Yeah. They're abusive crazy. So females, leave it. Yeah, leave it. When the girl's the crazy, sign. the Leave girls it. are crazy. It's just, they just natural. crazy, crazy. It's natural. Yeah, they just crazy, crazy. You know, just make sure you're driving around in a cheap car so in case they want to break windows. Stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? It's because we... Cheap clothes in case they want to rip it up and throw it out the window and yeah. then you have your good clothes in your chia's house. Burn that. <laughs> On the Chia's house. That's why we got this problem in the first place. No, nah, I'm just joking. But, yeah, <laughs> but girls do that. That's their craziness. Guys' craziness, they start getting too abusive. Um, yeah, and there yeah. are some when they when they when they start doing the female thing on the bushes no, no, and no, who no, that no. and who's when, this. When, prime example, when they start saying who's that, mm-hmm. when somebody call your phone, excuse me, sir, is this my phone or your phone? Mm. Who phone rang? Mine's or yours? Why are you questioning who calling me? Let's who paying my bill? See, we can't say I mean, that. We my, pay our bills. If my, if, my man, if my man pay my phone bill, then he got the right to be like, who well, is that, babe? But and yes and no. Yeah, I'll because just say. Because the call wasn't for you. So if the person wanted to speak to you, he would have called you. Yeah, but at the same time, they're, like my phone would ring and I'll be in the back. Your phone is ringing. I'll be like, well, then pick it up. I'll be, I'll be That's getting pissed. That's when the pissed. relationship is there. I'll be getting pissed. I'll be like, well, pick it, it up. You don't just tell anybody you're talking to. You don't just pick up my phone. Yeah, see, but that's when you know there's something wrong. Ladies, don't do it. That's when you know when there's something wrong. If, I mean, if, if that's the guy, the, if, if the guy started talking for like three months, he's not answering my phone. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Uh, you, you, don't only, know you only can answer the phone when you... In a and, relationship. Yeah, and I'm not only a, a relationship, especially like if you're living with each other, then you definitely can answer the phones. But if you're just dating, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no answering the phone because you, you don't know... If that was uh, just a regular person, right? And like a business lady will call, yeah, yeah. And who this? Who this? Oh, yeah. you know what? He just lost my business. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it all de- it all depends. And but also, ladies, be aware if you in a relationship that's abusive and physical, get out because yeah. it's not worth your life. Domestic violence is very heavy in the United States amongst young women and men. Yeah. And if you feel that you have to go, go. If you feel like, are you, if you're getting abused, you can call 911 and order pizza. That means you are, you know, being mm-hmm. abused. And the cops will definitely locate your location and, you hey. know, take you out of that situation. Even, don't even don't if, even never if, uh, let it get too late. Too because late. that first smack will continue on after yeah. the one, that rose that he brought me home to say sorry. Yeah. If they got to break, if you got like 20 roses for weeks. And each one had a sorry behind it. It's yeah. not worth it. It's not. It's not worth the rose. It's not. And I tell you. And then you could also call nine one one and throw code words. Uh, I got this rotten pizza that's here. Uh, y'all didn't bring me my pizza, and, and I, I, it's abusive already. How y'all not giving? You know, there's words that you can. Yeah. And the, the operator would be like, "Well, uh, is say something." Yeah, is he next stuff. to you? Yeah, is he next to you? What's going on? Well, I wish he was. Uh, the pizza was away from me, but I don't even have it. You know, there's words that you can use in, for the guy that's not. You no, know, some guys do like a. I like a little bit crazy. Me too. But not too overboard. I like a like you know you know like a sweet and sour. Yeah. You know that sauce from um Popeyes, sweet chili. Yeah. Like it's like mm, and then it's like ooh, like I like that. I like a man like that. I like a man that can keep me on my feet. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. That could give me a little competition, but not compete with me, mm-hmm. but with me. Yeah, and then you know, there's a dip. Let, let's since we're speaking about that. How do you feel about the difference? Because I always say there's a difference between a girl saying, nah, I'm not going over there because of my man versus, nah, I'm not going to go over there because that's disrespectful 
to my man. There's two ways. There's two ways to say it. And I think the, the, the first one, the first say, one is. I'm not going over there because that's disrespecting my relationship to right. my husband or my boyfriend. The first one that means that you're in a problem situation. If you got to say, nah, yeah. I'm not going there because of my man. Yeah. That means he's a little. He's a problematic man. Yeah, like there's something wrong with that. Absolutely. But, so watch the words that come out of your mouth yeah. as well. Because um, people pay attention to those words is everything. Yeah. Yeah. Words justify everything. Because I hear a lot of people say that. Oh, no, nah, I'm not going over there. There's too many guys. My man is going to be getting jealous. Like, Yeah. So that means he's over. Protected. Right. And he's or if you you would have said, nah, I think that's disrespectful. I'm the only, there's only two girls and all those guys. Nah, yeah. I think that's disrespectful too now much. Now, that's, there's then, barriers. There's barriers. Then, you know, and and don't try to make it like that because it's not going to come out. It's, it's That's a natural speech. It's a natural speech. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's your, your vernacular, the way yeah. you use it. So it's yeah, gonna come out. Aware. It's gonna come out natural anyway. But if the first one comes out, you need to sit down and say, "Wait yeah. a minute, what's going on?" Yeah, yeah. Like I think he's he. That's that's a, a way of a guy to start controlling him and stopping you. You know, there's certain levels to domestic violence: physical, verbal, mental, all that. Yeah. Every any sign you see, because he could just say something, and you verbally getting abused. Yeah. Physical it and starts mental. there. It, it starts, starts there. there. It starts, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they, they start grabbing you. But uh, it, it happens. But there are... They're like fireworks. It's the 4th of July. Yeah. Everybody's... Boo, 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 yeah, they boo. Throw, and then exactly. sometimes it's duds. You know, they throw the little fire and then nothing happens. So, exactly. Uh, so there, there are certain <laughs> ways to do it. But how do you feel... Um, what word will get you to stop dating a person after like a week? Like the certain word. A word that they will say to me? Yeah. A word, we're going to go with a word, and then we're going to go with, uh, not, I, I, I can't say a saying, but, um, like a, a gesture? suggestion. Yeah. A gesture? A word that will turn me off from a guy when we first talking, honestly, is, you paying for that? <laughs> yeah, I'm low. You I'm, well, after one week, I it depends it? on how many, how many dates I'm you lying. went on. I'm lying. I kind of went on a uh, first how many, date how many? with a guy. And I told him that he don't have to pay for my drinks, but I was going to pay for it. And he was like, are you going to see me again after this? And I'm like, yeah, why not? Because he probably life. thought he was cheap. That's yeah, why I why. felt like he was cheap, so I decided to pay for my own drinks. See, but he's but, stupid. I would have said one time only. No, I got it. And as soon as you say no, I'm like, okay, then I'm not going to force you because you are a woman. Of, I'm a cheap. You know what I'm saying? I'm cheap. But, you know, back in the days, they were like, no, no, seriously, I got it. Yeah. I got it. And then when the girl be like, okay, now you be like, damn, I really didn't have yeah, it. Yeah. Now, you know. Oh, that, but like in a, Tell in a, the truth. I, I'll go on a date and be like, listen, I would love to get you on a date, but like right now, this week's budget is only like 30, 40 bucks. You know, I'll, I'll let the girl know. Yeah. Like, yeah, shit, I got rent. I live by myself. But I'm going to show you a good time with 30 bucks. You know, I mean, you don't have to. Especially in the summer, we got you, Coquito for $1.50 now. Right. You, you know? don't have to go to ex exclusive places to have fun. We could walk to the park. Right, and right, right. We could go to the store and be like, hey, you want something to drink? That's cool with me. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah, but are you going to pay now? Damn, damn. Well, are you, you going to pay, like, all right, Ooh. you want me to After pay how many me? dates? How many dates? First date. Oh, no, no, the first date, then that's done. That's done. You know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, right? Are you going to pay would be, like, four dates, maybe five dates? Yeah. Are, are you five, paying four, for yours? Yeah. yeah. Or, like, oh, oh, are we going to split this? Like, I don't mind. Or, I got it. Like, if I right, see right, that, right. like, pay, pay, Or, pay, like, pay, I got I'm this one, it. but you got the next one, right? All right. Exactly. You see? But a gesture... More so if um, we're on a date and he's not, like, paying mind to me, like, he's on his phone more, that's a turn off to me because, like, what's so important? Go hang out with the, the stuff that you're looking at. Don't waste my time. I don't like my time being wasted. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. You were saying something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you didn't even pay attention, right? Like, like sometimes, huh? don't get me wrong, I check my phone, but I'm a parent. So I have right, 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 right. If he's a parent... That is cool, you know what I'm I saying? I don't know, even, but see, I'm, I'm a little Even when I'm being a parent, too, yeah, I'm a little you got that about connection, that. don't break it, because the phone, once you go like this, you, it's you, over. Normally, if your parent, listen, you got this, you got the milk, you got everything, the babysitter's here, don't bother me unless it's an emergency. Exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it's... What about you? Me? The... The word. The one word? Do you... You, you hear all the time, whatever, this is where you bring your dates? Like... No. Ooh, I hate that. that. Oh, I hate bad. that. When 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 you take a girl out and be like, "Oh, this is where you bring everyone." Oh, the girl. You know the girl. Yeah. I'm like, well, you okay. thought y'all talking about a guy? Oh, well, no, no I'm talking about a girl. My... I thought you were talking about like the server. Oh no 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 no, like the, the girl. And imagine yeah. that. Oh, I guess we gotta take a break. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Javier. 
and join us on El Latino Ruido every Wednesday at 6 p.m. on the LDM Network. Radio station in the world. In the world. Is right here. Right now. LLDM Radio. She's so fake. She's such a slut. You can see the layers on Look her face. Look at her chicken legs. Oh my god. How short is that skirt? I can't believe she'd even put that on. Is that her dress? It's not even on her hardly. It's not even covering her up. It's actually disgusting. Oh my god. How can she do her hair like that? I don't even know how this girl has friends. I saw her talking to Holden the other day. Who does she think she is? I bet she slept with the whole football team. She's not even pretty. She's gained so much weight. She looks like a cow. <laughs> Such a good idea. Watch this. <laughs> You're good. Oh my god, that's so funny. You gotta post that. <laughs> I got an idea past this. <laughs> <laughs> Back again. Hey, we're back again. So, like I was saying, um, I'm here with Emma Garcia. That's right. We're Your talking girl, about the, uh, the one now word. In happy Fourth of July, people. Happy Fourth of July, too. The <laughs> one word that would make you stop dating and the uh, gesture. Uh, so, my one word was if we're getting on a date and they say, oh, you bring other girls here, I'm done. That's the, that's the one word that would kill it. The one line. The yeah, one the line. one line that would kill it completely. Because that means you're trying to, like, Worrying about my background. Let's worry about what's going on here. Yeah. Um, what about gesture? Gesture will be uh, the way they look. Not dress-wise, the way they look at me. That, like, if I say something and they like... Oh, what the, the eyebrows? The so that means already you're not believing. Yeah, you're not believing things that I'm saying. So now there's, there's a trust issues right there already. Okay. So I'm, I'm a, like, that's why when I, when I was on dates many times, I throw a little... So little bell, you know, so little liberals, yeah. So little rules and throw here and throw there to mm-hmm. see, and you know, suggestions to see how you would act and how what you would say, because remember, I'm Simpson. I'm an analyst. I'll just sit there sometimes and look at the girl like, okay. And then the way when a guy passes by, I'll watch the girl. How how you know those things, little things like that, turn me completely off. The way okay. you look. The, I'm not talking about clothes. I'm talking so about what would be make, what word what line will make you be more one word like a word. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. That right there, woo! Well, it depends too because if I already got like 30, 40 bucks in and I know I'm going to get some, I, I, that mm mm-hmm. 30 or 40 bucks in, ladies and gentlemen, no, he's going to get some. Listen, when I was dating, you hear this? When Please? I was dating, 30 to 40 bucks was a mm-hmm. lot. That yeah. was back in those days. 1982. 30, yeah, 17 something, something like that. But anyway, uh, 30 something dollars and, you know, and we vibing and, I'm not saying, you know, we're adults and we're going to get some. I'll just wait till afterwards. And I'll be like, listen, that was good, but the mm-hmm got to stop. I'll try maybe a next day. You know what, what I'm saying? What about she be like, I feel like you're just a little too funny. I feel like you're too judgmental. Or I feel like you cheap. And she says so, that? So maybe. maybe and she so, says that. I feel like you cheap. So maybe she's like, then you turned me off. No, if she says, well, I, maybe you're too judgmental. Maybe you're so cheap. i will be like, girl, you know me. <laughs> Cause I'm like that. I'm like, girl, oh no no, baby, tell her what she won. What? A uh, no second day. Bye bye. No. <laughs> no no no. But I I, I never had that How, problem. I got a question. With a date, I, I don't know. How was your first date with um your wife? Do you remember your first date with your wife? It was by phone. <laughs> we uh, actually we I actually never really talk. Yeah, we actually never really online. had a first, first date. But this is this tells you how how crazy my wife is. Uh, we we uh, we normally talk by um, 
video chat. And then email. I remember and you emails email. and stuff like that. And when we first got back together again, and she was like, this is what I like about her. She's determined and she doesn't, she let, doesn't let anything like leave her grasp. So she said, listen, I lost you once. I ain't going to do it again. This is my story. Um, no, this is his No, but story. in reality, the if, way you think, he if, if you think about it. Wait, look. <clears throat> look what I got. Listen, in reality, I <laughs> lost you once. We got back together. She came on a plane to come and left everything to come down here on a limb. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could have been portraying someone else different on the video, but since we knew each other for years, and I guess the conversations. So she knew you was cheap from jump. Yeah, she. Oh yeah, she knew I was cheap. I was. I was telling her. I was like, "Girl, you come over here. We ain't going no parties and stuff like that. Two dollar limits, you know." Uh -uh. I told her. Two dollar limits. No, you know what I'm saying. Like, if I go to a place that is two dollar limits, that's where we go with. You know what I'm saying? Two dollar limits. No, but. You know what you're right. getting into. So you know that you but, would eat dollar pizza every day. Right. But when she got here, she, yeah, I know, right? But she realized, like, there's things that I would be what cheap did, about what, and not cheap about. What did she, what made her be interested in you? Did you know that? Come on. All of this. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have all, all of this. All of this. You know? No, no, no. I, I guess it's when we had, if you could... Ladies and gentlemen, if you could stimulate, I'm going to the guests today. Right, right. If and you I'm could the, stimulate the, the mind, <laughs> if you could, like, the mind can be stimulated and yeah. sexually active without even touching or anything. Yeah. It, it's a, something I'd be like, wait, yeah. this is the way it is. Imagine if we're together. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then when I got to the airport and I, I watched her there, the first thing I was like, this girl is crazy. What's going on? I got to check her out. I got to, you know. Really like fingerprints, everything, because maybe she's a serial killer. You know what I'm saying? She's from the Philippines. She's from the Philippines. Maybe know. she wants papers or something like that. You know, there's a lot of things. That, no. <laughs> no, but I did think, but why wow, like, why? as a female, she must be either really seeing something in me that I don't see, mm. or she's just crazy. How many years you have already together? We know each other for almost 15, and we've been together for close to five, right? So... Wow, only five? Why well, I feel like I know you longer than that? It, it feels like a long time. Yeah, it feels like, like a long super time. long. But it, it's like, stuff like that. Like what? three years I know y'all. Three years. Yeah. They, yep, they, mm -hmm. But when I d did know that she really wanted to stay was when I got to the airport and she ran and jumped in my arms and I fell on the floor and she was kissing me all over like that. Oh, oh my God! God. She had the little hat. <laughs> yeah. The she was like, with the gloves. Yeah. He's here. Yeah. That's my story. Um, yes, did you have like, but in reality, we, she just came up to me and we, we were uncomfortable because we didn't know what to do because our mom was there. <laughs> oh, yeah, mom came so we, too. So we did the little hug hug. She, she, was, she, brought, she brought you just in case, Well, right? just in case, and then we had the conversation. And, and she, then she left right And then there? she left. She's like, I'm leaving she you left, my prize. She left there, like right back to the No, place. no, no, she stood for like a couple of days. And we went out, we had fun, and she seen where we lived. Was you, not, was you not being cheap when our mother was here, or you wasn't being cheap? Oh, no, we went places where I was not going to spend that much money. Where, where we went, went to the parks, we went to, you know, like, places like that, Central Park. Central Park uh, well, you wish you giving her a tour because she was new. Well, tours and stuff. We went to um, the Japanese um, boat ride, the Japan boat ride, and then she went out and seen what I do, like, the media and stuff. Like, yeah. So she seen exactly what I do as the media part, too. So, you know, it was good. And then she was like, I leave you my pride possession. And, you and know. Ever since ever she's since, been with you, right? Yeah, and her mom is sweet. She even told me, like, a couple of weeks ago, wow, if you think about it, you, uh, five, you know, years went by, and we were not sure about. But y'all know each other 15 years. Because y'all, when, when did she come? 15 years? <laughs> when did she come? <laughs> different, story. Different, story. <laughs> different story. Different story. Different story. Different story. Like Fifteen years ago, right? That's after dark. dark. That's after dark. LDM after dark. Right. Uh, Into the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. But uh, in reality, you know, we we met online and we kept conversating online. I love how phone. this whole show came into about you and your yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we're gonna go back to Love Corner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, figure it out. Figure it out. But it vice out. versa, we you know, serendipity happened. We, we found each other. Now we're still together, and we work together hard. Son. And a pain in the butt son right now. Handsome. Um, uh, so, you know, things come out, and 
eat the whole. I guess what I was saying um, in the last show, I was talking about find somebody who accommodates what you like, and that's how you will be able to be successful in your relationship. Right. Uh, for the people that are on my page, on Facebook page, not the LDM page, I put up something like that saying, um, yeah, it said, compliments. someone, um, don't be afraid of someone's success. Yeah. Be more of afraid that, that you cannot put into that Your person's success. success. Exactly. Um, so that's how we do. We, you know, yeah, we struggle. Don't think that we're not struggling with this business. We struggled. And we sat down. We were like, well, not sat down, but we were standing up. Real quick conversation. We won't get this one more year because this is really kicking into our vacation money. Not our regular money, yeah. but our vacation or our, our rain day money. Because you never can know what yeah. happens to us. And we're the type of person that likes to have just-in-case money. Yeah. So That's why he's cheap, ladies and gentlemen. Right, right. Because he has just-in-case money, which is always better than spending money. Right, just-in-case. Like, like, some people are like, oh, let's go out. Oh, we can't really do it. We don't have the money. But in our case, we're like, yeah, where are we going? You know, just in case. But sometimes I'll be like, nah, nah. I look for excuses when they say, like, Applebee's and something like that. I'm like, wait, wait, $20 for a little steak? Yo, my back was hurting. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Your I like to make that at home. Listen, I don't go to play. And I'll be telling her that. Sometimes we only go because of the atmosphere. And to comedy, right? Because, you yeah. know, you work hard. Sometimes, play, yeah, yeah. Play. But, mm, mm, not all the time. I, I go to the all-you-can-eat, you know. Oh, have you been to the new hibachi spot on 161st? Hibachi, no, hibachi. The hibachi? The hibachi. No, they don't cook in front of you there. See, that's, that's not a hibachi. See, they she, cook any, on the side. Any, any time they say in the Bronx, hibachi or, or some French restaurant, not. then you know it's not a French person. It's a guy with a, with a eyeliner it's like a this. Mexican. <laughs> with a Mexican with the eye mustache talking about booze sauce. Awesome. Come on, French fries. No. Nah. It's on the other side. It's a buffet. Yeah, it's a buffet. No, the one in, It's a big buffet, though. Yeah, the one in Manhattan. I think I'm going there tonight. <laughs> the one in Manhattan, you have your own little room and things like that. But anyway, let's go. Uh, let's kick into the love corner where we're talking about how you accommodate. But how, how would a woman accommodate a guy but don't take it? How, how the hell do you say it in, in English? Um, that, in Spanish. I even, forgot, French. I even forgot the, the Spanish Oui, word. oui, au revoir. Like, <laughs> take it from, uh... How does a woman accommodate a man? Like, if you say, um, like a favor, like, damn, you, you can do me a favor? Nah. Damn, I did you a favor. You know, how, how, how can, can a I woman accommodate someone but not try to... Offend them? No, not, not try to bring it back, like, or they doing it to just to get something in return. Like, in other people, I doing mean, favors well, okay, to get favors I feel in like return. women... Women should take men out as well. I feel that women should take men out as well. You know what I'm saying? Right. Accommodate them in like they treat you. If they come home after long, they're working massage your feet and all that, do it to them as well. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Make sure, you know, when they get home, if they're working and paying bills, that they have dinner at home, they shower and their pajamas is ready when they get there. You know, give them a little nice massage all over their body. Make them Remember, you said massage, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I massage. remember those words back in the day, massage. That's that rub thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, we really don't. Yeah, somebody, <laughs> somebody's lacking at home. Um, no, 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 like, no, 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 know, no. I'm like just a, joking, Like but... a massage or like, you know, just yeah, yeah, stimulate yeah. a conversation or read a book together. Yeah. Well, not the same book or right next to each other. Like, oh, we, have, we, have, we have movie those, nights. Those, those things are nice. Yeah, we have movie nights. We have a question. Well, we got a question? All right, the question, who's more forgiving, who's more forgiving women. and more tolerant women? Women tolerate more no. cheating than men. No. Because once a woman cheat on a man, no. he wants to Oh, yeah, 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 matter of fact, yeah, yeah. Because they'll be like, okay, a guy be like, hell no. What? And then every time you go out, who that? Who? Yeah, right. yeah. Or oh, that the guy that you were messing with? It, um, He's the mailman. He's bringing my package. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but women, women also get self-conscious. Self like because it was dumb. like, wow, like, does he not like me? Low self-esteem because it's like, I'm giving you all this attention, and then you come cheat on me. No. But then you play that role. Oh, man, I, I love him, so I'm going to take him back. No. Women, you know, you know how the women do Let him go. Oh, you cheated on me? Who is she? Who is she? Exactly. As soon as you show her. Mm, mm, you cheated mm. on me with that? You cheated. 
with that. Really? So you downgrading on me now. Uh-uh, boo-boo. This is not how it's going to work. You don't... Do but if it's a girl... But if it's a girl that looks way better, that's when the girl be like, but what I, what I need to do? You know, because that's when you know the girl's way better looking than you. But if a girl is lower than you, oh, hell is going to break loose. So, guys, if you're going to oh, cheat, you, you better that? upgrade. You better upgrade exactly. if you're going to cheat. Don't be downgrading. Let me look through your phone and catch up. Yeah, don't assault the girl, because especially not a uh, black or Puerto Rican girl. Cause maybe the Asians, you could do it. But they all look be like. a, No, no, but be afraid. Because the, <laughs> the Asians be like, Oh, so you picked her over me. That's okay. It, it was just a moment. We'll work on it. Go! Run! <laughs> run! Because that's when the mafia come. Word. <laughs> the triads and all that. No, I'm just joking. That's crazy. I just, no, but there's certain things. But a guy, no matter who it is, that guy always looks better than... It can be the bummiest guy. You'd be like, oh, oh, so you're just going to go out and go get another guy. They don't even want to look at the guy's face. The guy is like you too much. You know what? Women barely cheat. We cheat when we feel like the men. No, according to Costco's magazine, y'all the most cheaters, but the less that get caught. That's the reason why. But y'all cheat the most. So don't let it. Don't let her words try to twist you guys. Ladies, I'm speaking for y'all on my behalf. No. Us ladies don't cheat more than men. Yes, y'all do. Y'all just thirsty. don't get what caught. What you said earlier, we are gonna, we going to get to wherever we can fit into, remember? Uh huh. But that's on the first level. See, once we're on the upper level, that's it. We only got two levels. Which is what? Up or We're, down? That's it. That's it. We got the first level where let's try everything in the store. And then the next level is we already know. Y'all girls got that one level. I'm going to try everything in the store and I'm going to keep on with that same thing. You got to keep trying different stuff. Like, oh, uh, hello. There's different type of food. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of black girls out there that be like, oh, why my sisters are going with the white man or the Puerto Ricans? Well, maybe it's because they realize there's something else out there that's better. Yeah. You know, even even if it doesn't have to be a Puerto Rican or another race. Exactly. But, you know, there are... To mix, each his own. Right. That's what I have to say. To but don't complain own, about it. Don't complain about it. If you're going to complain... If you like the thugs, don't complain right, when they find, cheat on find you. Find your type. If that's whatever's your yep. type is your type, enjoy it. Yeah. Make sure you get something out of it both ways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be be human. Be normal. Be mm. down to earth. Be loving. Be caring. Because love is very hard to yeah. give nowadays and to receive. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's what I said. A lot of things going on in this world. Listen, that's, that, that's know, always things. Like the fires to not want to be present. Right. Because when we're present, we feel like we're losing the stuff, so, you know? But if you want to be with a cheater, don't complain that they're cheating. If I'm with a cheater, you I'm going to be, be a with cheater. a serial killer, don't be complaining that you're finding heads I'm in the just, refrigerator. I'm just going to kill right with him. No, I'm just going to be like, babe, <laughs> you, can't, you can't put the head on the second shelf. You got to put it in the bottom. You know what I'm saying? And just I told embrace you, it. put it in the back. <laughs> yeah, you got to embrace it. You, you know what? You're just going to have to get another refrigerator. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just embrace the what you have. The meat doesn't fit here anymore. Yeah. Embrace what you have and not, if you're going to complain about it, just cut it and, and yeah. figure it out. Move forward. Move forward. It's, if, like I said, if the vibe and the energy doesn't match, you are allowed to let go. Right, right. Um, speaking of uh, moving forward, we're going to be moving to another commercial break. And when I come back, I want to talk about who cannot move forward when they break up, a man or a woman. Ooh. We'll be right back. Hello. Thank you for coming to our page and watching our short video. We at the LDM Show enjoy bringing you events, stories, performances, and news that are going on in the community that many people are not aware of, giving them opportunity to showcase their talent, network, and built awareness. We also have a volunteer learning program that gives future media hopefuls a chance to learn the business so that they can take it out there and do it on their own. This all has been a great adventure of ours. A lot of amazing things have happened to our show ever since the first day we aired. And this all happened because of your support. We are now ready to take it to the next level by airing in several community channels. As amazing as it might sound, being on a community channel, wow, it demands us to upgrade our equipment such as ang or wide angle cameras, broadcasting systems, Wi-Fi, on body mics and much more for this reason we need your help we are asking for you to donate to help us reach wider audience and create a community awareness 
help us make this dream a reality. Also ask how can you help by buying advertising space on our show or our website. Again, thank you for your support. With your help, we can reach and create a better community awareness. Again, thank you and keep on watching the LDM show. All right, well, we're, well, we're back. Well, we're, you know, we, we are, we're closing because we got, we got to finish this up real quick. But who is the uh, worst in letting go? Who you think? Women. Women are the worst in letting go because we get attached too quickly and we love for real. Men, all they want is a piece of whoop, and sometimes that's not even that. No, no I don't know. I, I think uh, uh, some, it depends on the situation, too. It depends on the situation. Because there are some men that can't let go. Know. You know what I'm saying? They're not just tell you it's over. Oh, I'm not back. I'm watching. <laughs> I told you it was only one time. I'm sorry. I, 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 I realized my mistake after I came three or four times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, um, but I was just watching uh, comedy when they were talking about how a guy would leave and don't really have a place to stay, but they macho and yeah. they leave. And then when they try to be nice to you and you start talking to them, little by little they start moving back in. There's yeah. little stuff. Oh, you got to watch for that. Watch, watch out watch. for those creeps. Yeah, watch out for that. They're hoarders. Yeah. <laughs> they start coming in little by little. Bringing their but whole family inside. Letting go is just it's, upgrading. It's, letting go is upgrading, and letting go is also finding yourself. Right, right. Find yeah. yourself, people. It's one of the hardest things to do. But once you do, you'll be super satisfied. Hey. But anyway, guys, I'm glad you guys... Uh, watch another episode here. Exactly. Especially with Emma Garcia Thank right you here. For having I, I me. pretty much miss having uh <laughs> you know when um, Happy Fourth of July showing the girls how the men are uh you know up there. And how the women are better than men. I yeah. tell you this all the time. Yeah, but it, it was fun having was. you for two Thank weeks. You so much. Two weeks straight. So Thank hey, you. uh doors are always open, like I always said. The doors are open. I appreciate that. Um, this project's gonna be made, so you never know. Emma Garcia will probably be back again here. Hopefully we can do them skits because I would Oh yeah, the skits watch. are gonna be coming out, so we watch that. that. Skit. I can't wait to see that. LDM collection clothes are coming out. Check that out. Uh, you know, so I'm gonna be trying to work out on um, some more different outfits. Some of the kids are uh, uh, taking the outfits that the the fashion designer gave us already, because it's a store that does their own fashion. But we just put the colors. We nice. put the way the, the names are going to go. So, and then they sew it. They do nice. all the sewing and all that stuff for us. So, Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you follow me at Emma Garcia. And you can follow my art page at Emma Arts Collection underscore. You won't be disappointed. Thank you so much, Charles. Yes. Tune in every Thursday from 6 to 7, seven. right? It's not 8 no more. Um, yeah, thank you. And then check us out on Bronx Net Mondays at 3 p.m. too. Uh, and keep the ratings going up. Stay up, tuned up. to my production. So we'll see you next week. Uh, happy Fourth of July happy again. Happy Fourth of July. So we're gonna go out and pop some uh, fireworks. fireworks. Well, n me, I'm gonna watch them from my window. I am too. From the safety <laughs> of the window. You know, the Be fireworks safe, on the TV. Don't drink and drive. God bless. Stay true. Yes. I love yourself. Yes, yes, yes. And remember, always be upgraded. That's it. There's only levels to this. Yes. See you next week. The LDM show.